Hey, here we are in Gravit Designer. I want to show you in a series of videos just quickly how some things work. Now, don't just watch this. Practice it because there are a number of skill sets here. I've started with the 1920 by 1080 document. 1920 by 1080 is HD, and that's a great size to start with. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, go back to the original Gravit videos, and I show you how to start that new document. I'm going to click on Create Rectangle. This is, you know, the shapes, and you have a lot of different shapes to choose from, but I'm going to go ahead and choose that rectangle, and you notice that shortcut. Pay attention to these. Line is L, R, E. Okay, so if I come out here and um, I click E, I suddenly get the ellipse. But I want a rectangle, so I'm going to click R. And I'm going to draw, you know, a rectangle. There we go. Then I'm going to hold down Option, I'm going to drag out a copy. And hold down Option and drag out another copy. And say, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if I could select all three of these and put them all on the same baseline? And then wouldn't it be cool if I could distribute these so there was the same amount of space between each one? And then wouldn't it be cool if I could place these in the exact center of this document? And if I try to do that right now, everything goes on top of each other. So I'm going to Command-Z to undo, Control-Z on your Chromebook, and then group these. And under Modify, it's Command-G. Modify, Group, Selection. So I have these selected. It doesn't work if they're not selected. And you see how it's Command-G? Control-G on your computer. Now, when I center these, they go in the center. When I center them horizontally, they go in the center. They are mathematically exactly in the center of this rectangle. The problem is... Objects have visual weight. So here's your first big tip about centering things mathematically. Art isn't math. It, sometimes math is used, but in this case, I'm going to use the up arrow with all three of these selected. I'm just going to click up maybe two times just to barely move it up. And now mathematically, this distance is less than this distance, but because we're looking at this and we see visual weight, it appears as if it's centered. All right, now I want to ungroup this. It should be Shift-Command-G. I don't know. I've never done this. Modify, um, groups, ungroup. There it is, Shift-Command-G. Okay, so Shift-Control-G on a PC. And now I can select these things independent of one another once again. Come back because I want to talk about color in the next video.